What's up guys? Welcome back to Rule of Two Review. My name is Rob and today I'm going to try to make sense of all of this steam madness. Okay, so the last few days, the hot button topic in the gaming industry and on the internet has been all of this news about Valve, Steam, and the recent reveal and information about the fact that mods available for game games on Steam and on your PC are now going to be available for sale for a dollar a piece, again, on Steam specifically. Now, this has created a lot of controversy, as you can imagine, because the PC community, for years and years and years and years and years, has been built on and predicated upon the ability for users to make mods, create mods, modify the games and the content for free to be placed out there in the world for the community to be able to take advantage of and have fun with and exploit in different games that they had otherwise initially purchased from those companies. Um, and this seems to be something that is really defacing the value and the integrity of that, again, for PC gamers. Now, the quick disclaimer I, of course, have to give before I share my very quick thoughts on this controversy today is that I don't identify myself as a PC gamer, quote unquote, but I do game on my PC. I definitely game on my three consoles, my 3DS, and my gaming PC. I have, I have two PCs, one that I mostly use for gaming where I play Skyrim, Fallout, Diablo, um, the Telltale games, stuff like that. So um, I do certainly enjoy and appreciate PC gaming for what it is. I'm just not a PC gamer primarily. Um, I do use Steam for a couple of things, you know, and, and I've tried the occasional random one-off game here and there. Uh, so I love Steam and I do enjoy PC gaming, but I'm not the guy who's like speaking from this very personal kind of offended viewpoint because I'm not mainly a PC gamer like a lot of people are who are upset about this. Um, so, you know, that's my quick PSA about that aspect. Now, when it comes down to breaking down the news and really my thoughts on it, um, I have, I have two thoughts. You know, a lot of people have shared the same opinion and that is that there is good and bad to this. The good is that people who spend their time and dedicate themselves to creating all of this content for people might be able to get a little something back. And you know what? That's not a bad thing. As somebody who's a professional musician and been making music for years and years and performing live music and sitting in the studio for hours on end doing all sorts of things, you know, I can appreciate what it's like to put your time into creating something, whether it's modifying something somebody else did or your own creation from the ground up. And if you put it out there, the idea of getting something back for your time is certainly a good thing. But in the same sense, a lot of true artists, and you can argue that somebody who might be good at modifying PC games is an artist in their own respect, in their own craft. Um, at the same time, if you are that true artist, it's more about the people appreciating it than it is you making money off of it or getting some sort of kickback. So there is that kind of double-edged sword. But at the end of the day, just like the bare bones basic concept of, I create something for this game on the PC, I can get a dollar every time someone wants to download it. I get a little bit of money back for my time and my blood, sweat, and tears. Okay, that's a great thing, and I firmly want that to happen, and I think that people who can do this, it blows my mind to have the ability and the skill to do this when it comes to gaming and PC gaming. I mean, you can put fucking Goku or Thomas the Tank Engine in Skyrim. That is badass. Like, I love Skyrim. I would never do that. Like, mods are not interesting to me at all as far as what I want to play. But do I appreciate that they exist? And am I impressed by people's ability to create them? Absolutely. freaking lutely It's an amazing skill. And all of these people, all you guys and girls out there who are really good at this stuff, I applaud you. It's really impressive to me what you're able to do. And the other cool thing is millions of gamers do love it. I may not like to use it, but a lot of people sure as hell do. And it keeps a lot of people interested, invested in the PC gaming market and in gaming in general. So I definitely want you guys with how talented you are to be able to get something back. Now, where I get into the problem here, it really doesn't have anything to do with the gamers or the people who are actually modding these games. But I do have an issue with Valve's stance on this, um, their perspective and their intended purpose and what I think their true intended purpose is. So the way I understand this works, and if anyone out there knows any more, you can correct me if any of my information is wrong. Please correct me down below, but I'm pretty sure this is correct. So any mod that somebody creates for on Steam, which is now already rolled out and has begun so far only with mods to Skyrim, and I think it's going to become universal at some point down the road on Steam. So at this point, if somebody creates a mod for a game like Skyrim, any person who downloads that mod for that game has to pay $1. $1 is not a whole lot of money. So as far as the actual, you know, dollar pricing, I think it's all things considered a fair value, even though we're coming off of a model that for decades was free. So you pay a dollar, you get that mod for the game. Now, S Valve has come out, I, I, I guess Gabe Newell himself and also, you know, Valve, people, you know, speaking about this project on their behalf, have said that this is something that is meant to be kickback 
to the content creator, to the people who are putting their time into making these mods. They want it to be a place that nurtures the creativity of modders and PC modding um, so that people have more of a reason and an incentive to do it. They are a very common word used in gaming nowadays. They are incentivizing creators to create more content and mods for games on Steam. So again, that part is great. On paper, that's a fantastic thing that I support 100%. You know, if I wanted to download a mod, if it really came down to it, I wouldn't mind paying a buck for a mod that I knew I was going to like so that somebody else got it. So that somebody else got money back for their time, I should say. Now, there are a lot of particulars that people who really know their PC gaming are talking about. What happens if you have two mods and what if you don't like the mod? I guess there's a 24-hour return policy. What if you have a couple mods downloaded and a new mod you download has an issue and corrupts the files of the other mods you've had? And so now you lost those mods or you can't use the new one or you lose all of them together because they're corrupted and they won't work together. And then it's just a big clusterfuck and you've lost all your money and all your mods and you might not be able to play your game. Those are the kinds of issues that really kind of keep me from getting you know overly invested in pc gaming i hate that kind of stuff but for people who do pc game i recognize that's a legitimate viable concern that's a huge concern what if every time you buy a game for your wii u you like you buy hyrule warriors for your wii u and then when splatoon comes out you put splatoon in and all of a sudden splatoon has an issue with the fact that you have a save file for hyrule warriors and then all of a sudden you can't play hyrule warriors or splatoon on your wii u like, that would be a huge fucking issue. And this is kind of the same thing for the PC gaming market and for Steam players. So if that's really a potential problem, which I would believe it is, that sucks. And I feel bad for you guys who have that issue. But going back to the money spending thing. So you spend a dollar... Steam is saying, we want to incentivize people to create content so they get more money and they get kickback. We want creators to flourish on Steam. Again, that's wonderful. However, here is the huge, gaping, mammoth, offensive hole in Valve's quote. And basically in Valve's model here for what they're doing. 75% of every dollar spent on a mod for a PC game on Steam goes to Valve. 25% is what actually goes to the content creator. Let me say those numbers again. 75% to Valve, 25% to you, the modder and the content creator. That is 75 cents out of every dollar that the content creator doesn't get. The content creator is getting a quarter, literally one silver flipping quarter for everything that they do. And I don't really want to make it sound like this is all about money and money, money, money. People deserve money and I want money and people should have money and gamers should have money and money, money, money. But I mean, that is a part of that's why these things are happening. So we have to talk about the money. And the reason I have a problem with this is that to me, it shows that really Steam uh, not Steam, sorry, Valve, as much as I love those guys, they don't give a flying fuck about the content creator. If they did, they would either be taking no money for every mod that's purchased or very, very little. If, if anything, far less than half. And the fact that they are taking far more than half shows that really what they're trying to do is just make money off of other people's creativity. And they are not, it, it, if they really wanted to incentivize people. This is the whole crux. This is the solution that I have that no one will at Valve will ever listen to, but I'm telling you it's a solution. If Valve wanted to show us in the gaming community and the PC modding community that they really wanted PC modding creators to flourish and they want their creativity to get out there for, for people, they wouldn't pull this bullshit where they're, you know, lying and pretending to say that we want you to make money off of your mods. They would provide a forum for people who create successful and popular mods to get jobs in the industry to use them as a resume to say, hey, game developers, check out this section of Steam where people who make amazing mods are showcasing their abilities. And you can go and check out the things that people, regular old people and gamers are creating from their homes. And if you find someone who has an amazing talent, you can contact them through our service and you can give them a job. Because these people who are good at modding games on, P on the PC and on Steam, what they probably want more than anything to do with their skill isn't to make a fucking dollar every time someone downloads it. They want to make games for a living. And you, Steam and Valve, are trying to say you want these people to be able to be successful with their skill. Well, you know what? Don't give them a fucking quarter kickback and think you're like these great people. Give them a job. Give them a place for people to find and discover their talent. Make it so that Naughty Dog or Nintendo or Square or Electronic Arts, you know, or yourselves, Valve, can say, man, 
Look at what this person did for, you know, StarCraft 2. This mod is amazing. Look at this Matrix mod for Counter-Strike. This is amazing. This person has so much talent. We need to get a hold of this person and say, hey, we want you to work for Valve. We want you to work for Electronic Arts. That's what you're supposed to do. Help these people get a fucking job making video games because that's why they're so good at it. They're not trying to make money. I mean, yes, they're trying to make money by having a job, but they're not trying to make dollars and cents just by selling their shit on your service. They want a job. They want to make games for a living. They want to work for their favorite companies. And I think that if you really did care about those people flourishing and being successful, you wouldn't be giving them a goddamn quarter out of your boot. You would be helping them find a job. Okay. Whew. Man, I got a little heated. Every once in a while, I get a little rantish. I'm sure you people, uh, you folks out there have certainly seen and heard me do that before. Um, I, I try not to get that way. But you know what? This bothers me because... The, the, the problem I have is that there is a clear-cut solution that I think Valve could be doing, and they're choosing the, the shittier road. They're choosing the road where they're trying to get 75% of the money that you're supposed to make for your creativity and lying about it. They're not even saying, hey, we just have this new business model so we can, we can make money, but the benefit is we're also giving a little bit back to the content creator. That message could have been more easily swallowed. They're pulling the BS line of, oh, this is for you guys, the gamers and the content creators. Oh, and by the way, we're taking all your money. That's what they're doing. And so I don't like that. Like I said, I wish they had just done something where they just made it easier for these people to become more well-known so that maybe they could get hired by their favorite companies. So that's that. That's my whole rant and my whole theory about uh, what's going on with Steam and this whole thing. You know, I, I still maintain my early points. You know, there are the positive aspects at the end of the day doing anything to help the people who spend their time making these amazing mods get something back and find a better way to get their content out there, whether they get a job or not, or whether they make a lot of money or not, it's still a good thing. It's still well-intended enough, I guess. So I certainly appreciate that the people who do these amazing things that I could never even fathom doing have the ability to get something back for what they're doing. I think it's really cool. So again, good luck to all you guys out there who have the skill who are always making mods for these games and trying to get their stuff out there. And if you guys can make a pretty good living and start making a lot of money on it, you know, years down the road, awesome. That's all I would really want is for you guys to be able to be successful. And Valve, you guys are some of the best developers in the business, and Steam is an amazing service. It's really hard to see you guys doing something so shitty, and I think that you didn't realize it was this shitty, and I hope that, you know, soon enough you do, because right now the backlash is pretty strong. I mean, if, if, if I thought this was a rant, I know it's nothing compared to how most people are getting, are, are reacting to this, especially the people who are in that gaming and modding community. Again, I game on Steam, but I'm not a PC gamer first, and I am far from a modder, and I don't even play mods, you know, like I said. So those are the people who really have stuff to say. Um, anyway, I'm going to shut up. That's my whole thing today. Thanks for tuning in, guys. If you're new to Rule of Two Review, please feel free to subscribe to the channel, like, rate, and comment, share your thoughts below. Thanks for tuning in. I will catch you guys next time on another video for Rule of Two Review.